And recording. All right, thanks for joining us, guys. It is a random Wednesday night. And this is what we do in bed. We are in bed. We, yeah. didn't, have, we didn't have to tell them that. We didn't have to, but this is what we do on a Wednesday okay. night. Yeah. It's, uh, you're joining Frankie and Bird and <laughs> Buddy and Ellie. Yes, we're all on the bed right now. Okay. Anyway, we'll get to it. Um, we're just going to show you a random Wednesday night. Um, it's been a few days since I've looked at Blade HQ. It's been since yesterday for me. Okay, so Frankie knows what's up here, mm -hmm. but yeah, I've been missing a little bit. Yeah. All right, we'll get to it. Um, some of the highlights actually right here. I'm sure we'll get to it in the new arrivals, but yes, Fr Frankie's been asking me for a few days now. Have you ordered it yet? Have you ordered it yet? Marbled Carbon Fiber Feist. Yes. I remember handling this back at SHOT Show, I want to say. Yeah, SHOT Show. They had um, this and a Micarta one, and I just wanted it so badly. 2019 is the year of the marbled carbon fiber. Yes, it is. I feel like it. It is. All right. Here's where to go, guys. The new arrivals. Okay. You're just going to shop along with us. Okay, right away. Here's one that's new but not new. We have it. The Exo set. So, looks like Blade HQ has put this up at the front because yeah. they got in a new shipment. Probably, yeah. They would have they would have sold out the first batch. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll go ahead and show these. We do have one. We do. Yeah. Guys, it's a money clip. It is a money clip. It makes it so you need to carry cash money all the time, though. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get a fat wad of dollar bills. Of ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't carry cash very much. No, we don't. No, these things are pretty sweet. It's an OTF. It's technically California legal. It's an OTF. Um, yeah. A dagger. How completely um, useful? I mean, how Not so much. practical? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But they're pretty sweet. As a, If you honestly use it as a money clip... Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's a sweet money clip. You've been carrying it? I have. Yeah. 1.98 inches. I should ask you, how useful is it? Have you used it as an EDC blade? Not whatsoever. Oh, okay. No, oh. I haven't. <laughs> that would have been an opportunity to stretch the truth there. Okay. I am a very bad liar. All right, Frankie, then you're not going to be able to lie about Boker's. Boker is not your brand. It's kind of lame. It's kind of lame? Yes, but... Can't. These look kind of sweet. Those look okay. But I, I do look, I want to see that Quaken-esque one. What, the the Boker Quaken? Well, it looks like a Quaken, but it's a smaller version of it. It was on the preview page. I just want to point out that she's using her hands to describe it. Yes, and I'm pointing to the screen. They can't see that. No. Um, Coca Bola. I like, I'm a Coca big fan. Coca Bola. Yeah, it's fun to say, too. It is. Oh, look at this. It's a type of wood. Look at this. What's this, Frankie? What's this little nub? It's a flipper. Yep. Interesting. I don't know. There's kind of a lot going on with this thing and that thing, but yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Got a couple horns. Somebody send us one. <laughs> okay, here's what I saw that I really want to check out. All right. The Diskins? All right, Matt Diskin. We most recently showed uh, the Launch 8. Yeah. All right, the Stiletto. That's one of his designs, among True. others. He's a custom knife maker. Okay, the Matt Diskin knives. Let's take a look at, I don't know. They're let's go with this one. Too. Yeah, these are integral knives, the M1. Just want to show you. Okay, four hundred dollars, right? Four fifty on this one. Yeah. China. I wonder huh? if it's we or. Oh, maybe Riot knives. Look at this. Okay, collaborations with Riot knives. We're a huge fan of. Yes. Matt Diskin designs plus Riot. I'm very interested in this. Oh. Let's take a look at the uh, the frame lock side there. Interesting clip too. I like the, the two tone. The over travel integrated into the uh, into the pivot there. Mm -hmm. This this looks very cool. Look at the pouch too. It comes with a pouch. Nice. Four hundred and fifty dollars. You know it's not. not bad. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's a look at that. That looks cool. Integral for those of you that are not familiar, it's all one piece. The titanium mm -hmm. frame, the housing of the blade, it's all one piece. Nice. It's uh, it's just tougher to do. It's yeah. it's tougher and more time consuming to put together. 3.15 ounces, too. That thing is light. Okay, what is the blade? 3.5 inches? Yeah. Um, I must own one of these. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is going to be one of your knives. Yeah, yeah. That one in particular. Other... Actually, or this one. Mm. Oh, I do like that one. Let's take a closer look. There we go. Ooh. Very nice. That is cool. Yeah. 450 on this one as well. The M1, the Diskin M1. Mm. I'm a big fan of it. Well, right. Anyways, pretty sweet. What are these? Okay, so the giant mouse, the Vox Anzo design. It's a collaboration. Yeah. 
They've been doing collabos for a little while. Well, aren't they from the same um, area in Europe? They're both European. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. These are, uh-oh, they're Chinese as well. Well, I mean, that's not really unheard of. Bowler M390. Made by Miata also. Interesting. Okey-dokey. So maybe it's not just Wii Knives that's taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's David also. <laughs> She's talking uh, David Dang of React Knives. I kind of really like this color combo. That is, I like the bronze and the silver. It looks good together. What do you guys think of that clip? Here's another. It's interesting. There we go. Good looking knife. And how big are they? This 3. is uh, 3.3. 3. Okay. Actually, it seems like it would be bigger in pictures. Yeah. It's always like that with the with the knives on Blade HQ. It's like you, you're thinking that the knife's going to be smaller or bigger than it actually is. It's like right. that in real life a lot of times. Is too. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need this. We need to plan a camping trip just around this knife. No thanks. Seriously. I don't want to. Some case knives. Frankie's favorite. Let's just go past those. Keep going. Keep going. I would choose this. I would not. Tiny toothpick? To you. Zebra wood? <laughs> I didn't know zebras were made out of wood. <laughs> it's a type of wood, zebra wood. Oh, it's doing that scroll thing. Okay, Chris okay. Reeve, Impenda slip joint knife. Okay. okay. 450 on that one. Never seen that one before. Never handled it. Here you go. Yes. Here's the feist. the feist. Yeah, the marble carbon fiber. We'll take a look at it. They're calling it shred. Well, I can see that. Yeah. It's kind of like specs. See one of the Blade HQ mm. pictures. There you go. My knife. There you go. It's been my knife for a really long time. I'll tell you what, though. You've not carried the other one for a little while. Well, I want a carbon fiber one. It does look good. It looks awesome. 150 on these. Premium Kaiser, 2.8 inch. Yeah. S35VN. Yeah. So front flipper on these. Uh -huh. Kind of a small knife, too. I'm going to say uh, if you got big hands, you might just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> They are fun, though. Are you speaking from personal experience? I've not dropped one of these, I don't think. No, I dropped the real steel. Yeah, yeah, you did. You flew that thing out of your mouth. All right, how many, how many of you have seen um, the craziest new addition to our collection? It is indeed yes. a Paragon. Oh, yeah. Okay, the E-Stiletto, if I'm saying that. It, I think it's just the Paragon E-Stiletto e dagger. All right. Oh, we, does it have a weird... Well, deployment. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I think it has some sort of odd deployment where you push it. Ooh, it's so I, I think it's safety. It's OTF deployment, and then what? Just speed hole. Straight speed lightning. Lightning. Yeah. Uh -huh. You might need to get that to get go with your Paragon collection. I seriously love my Paragon. Uh -huh. Lightning bolt cutouts on the front and of the back. Yeah, I can see. It makes it look. It's got that same clip. Too. It's got that same clip that the Warlock does. It's just very minimal. Yeah. S thirty V, USA made. Mm -hmm. It's considered tactical, Frankie. It is. It's very tactical. Oh, it's a single action OTF. So it's a manual retraction. Oh, retraction. Interesting. Where I'm, I'm missing it though. Where do you pull it back? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it it's has through a the duty. Duty. duty? <laughs> Frankie said duty. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Go to the next page. We need one of these. Okay, get one. We need one of these. Go for it. Several cool things so far. Okay. The Heretic Knives, Medusa. You gotta love that name. It's okay. very gaudy to me. This is um, $1,850. I like the abalone a lot, though. The what? Abalone. The abalone right here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's that's, take a look. That's the, like, the opal, opal-esque on there. It's either a beautiful knife or something you would find in a gas station. It could be either way. I hate to say it. Uh -huh. I like. That's the, what people are going to say, though. I like the handle a lot, but I don't like the blade. It needs to be one or the other, not the two different color USA. colors. USA. Okay. That's what I would say about I'd it. I'd like to hold it. I would Damascus, too. recurve, tanto. A lot going on with this knife. Uh-huh. Okay. Compound grind. Yeah. All right. I would like it just be a plain Damascus blade, not the blue, though. That's what I have to say about that. Okay, there's a, a much more... Um, Felix-friendly knife. I was going to say mundane <laughs> offering at $331, but yeah. There you go. There's a typical uh, automatic for them. There's one of their OTFs. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ADV Butcher. Now, so they've it's a got... hybrid. Yeah, so they've got versions of theirs. Frankie yeah. recently wanted one of the ADV knives. 
I do the, still want the production one. knives. Yeah, look at the price on these though. They're affordable. Okay, this was in the. Um, these were the ones that I was. I said Quaken esque. This is what you're talking about. Yes. Okay. How do you say that name? Nori. No, that's <laughs> Kansai. Ken Kansai Nori. Kansai Nori. If we're saying that right, actually. What I'm are gonna, the wood ones? I'm gonna take a look at this one. Yep, the Coca Bolo. Coca Bolo. Coca. Bo Coca Bolo, I think you're right. Okay. Coca Bolo, I know how to say like Coca Bolo. It's a liner lock. Okay, it does have two mechanisms of opening. Ooh. Discreet gentleman carry. Uh huh. Or lady gentleman. VG10 production of China. Uh huh. Frankie, it's a boker though. I know. It has a leather strap on it too. You know, I don't mind the clip. It looks like it's gonna be like a pen or something in your pocket. It but seems like it should be further up. It seems like it should be deep carry. Yeah, but it has leather in the way. Does it come with this leather? Uh, is it written in there? Does it come with leather? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I mean, this lanyard. It, every single one of them has that lanyard on it, so I kind of think that it comes with it. I'm not crazy about it. You love lanyards. But at this price, we might have to get one. Yeah, we could. What's a VG10? At least it's not 8CR. Yeah. And they also have the carbon fiber, and then is this just a plain black G10? G10 yeah. Yeah. I like I the jackalope. You would. I know I would. Okay, a couple of hinders. Another one of these East Alettos. Ooh, okay. and the red tactical. Yeah, this is one that would... Uh, all right. That one looks very cheap. No, it doesn't. It does, too. It has a murdery red serrated blade. How do you retract it, though? I don't know. How do you retract it? They need a, they need it's, another photo it's right here. There. It's pull back right there. You can see it inside yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a single action. Because that would be out, and then you pull it back right there. Frankie's using her hands again. Yes, okay. I am. You look. You can see Little it right there. right there. You yeah. pull the tab back. Okay. It just doesn't look much to grab to, you know. Mm -hmm. We need. Uh, you need more. We need to something. Grab to? We need something to grab onto, you know, Frankie. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. All right. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. 5.5 okay. inch blade. That's This is a big knife. It is. 12, 12 and a half inches long. Okay. It's a big guy. Serrated on the spine side, on the back side. This okay. is crazy. This is a crazy knife. Somebody send me that. No, I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. We'll buy our own knives here and there. Okay. I want you to go to coming soon also. This is, this is going to be coming soon. This is no, these new are arrivals? new arrivals. Go okay, to hold on, soon. hold on. Okay, one more page and then go to come. One more soon. page? Alright. There we go. One more page. Okay. Some more okay, GECs. Now, some Kershaw Emersons. I was thinking, what's these aren't these aren't anything new. No. I think they're doing these in D two though. Okay. So it's the Emerson No, this is decent. Guys, if you want a good Emerson wave knife out of your pocket, don't get D2 an Emerson. steel. No, get an Emerson. Get a Kershaw. Spider Co. Wave. The Spider Co. Emerson? Yes. Yeah, that's a good knife. But that's what you should get. These are less expensive, though. Okay. In D2. In D2, you're going to get some pretty substantial edge retention. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you oil it. Yeah. Yeah. But then there. Yeah, D2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, here's this mixtape. We have to look at this. Okay. 8CR 13 MOV. Okay, it's a Everybody Warncliffe, loves it. appropriate for today's Wednesday carry. <laughs> what did you carry today, anyway? Um, I carried um, the Booze Blade Arrow. Booze Blade's mini arrow? Yes, I did. Yeah. I right. love it. This thing looks kind of cool. What's going on with the clip? It's like integrated mm -hmm. inside the frame. Why? To make it different. Inside the scale. It's like a tape deck opening. <laughs> <laughs> it what? kind of is. Yeah. All right, we'll have to get one. Okay. Oh, you know what? Thumb disc? Not a fan. Uh-uh. I've never been a fan of the discs, guys, of the thumb discs. Which makes no sense because it has a disc, but it's a mixtape. I'm so yeah. confused. This is the uh, this is the dual outlet, or what do you call it? The, the uh, <laughs> you know, it's the CD. It's the DVD. Oh. <laughs> DVD VCR hybrid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, the Kershaw Static Cleaver. Interesting. Mm. What's steel on this one? 8CR. It's got to be. Yep. <laughs> okay. It looks cool. I don't think so. Frankie doesn't like it? No. Okay. I just want to point this out, too, while we're 
we got one more page here, th this page. Let's talk okay. about this for a second, though. Yeah. Microtech Troodon, we do not own. No, we don't. Microtech SOCOM, we do not own. Oh, my gosh. I'd so love to own this right here. I'd love to. Yeah. Okay, the Troodon in a three-inch knife, how come you don't own one is what I'm getting at. I will take one, please. Yeah. Okay, so UTX-85, we have multiples of those. Yes, get one while you can. Get one of the color that you want. Ooh, distressed blue. This is what I want, okay? Um, probably not the dagger just because they're less practical. Yeah. But the distressed frame in orange, blue, uh -huh. red, any of the colors. I love them. The distressed look. Here, let's take a look at the other side. Well, it makes it nice because it looks like it's already worn so you can wear it. You can scratch it on you day can, one yeah. and just be like, I'm awesome. It's what it came like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the distressed look. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Like Seem your jeans. Seems like a gimmick, but... Well, okay, that's a thing, though, too. Right. What's with this? I'll go to this one. That's this a Gerber. <laughs> Spring assist. All right, Sweet. let's take a look. It it looks all right. It looks okay. But What's this get protrusion right here? Take a look. What's that? It's, it's how you deploy it, maybe. I this know. is how you deploy it? And it's I, what is going on with it. this thing? Spring miss. assisted... I don't get it. A safety, safety switch, switch on, on the, the spine. spine. All right. No. Mm, lame. Yeah. <laughs> Seven CR. Safety. Seven CR. You can give this one to your grandma. It's not even. It's just seven CR. Seven CR. Yeah. This steel will fold on a paper plate. Okay. Um, I still say speaking lame. from speaking from experience. Yes, yes. They got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. All right. They're cheap, I guess. What's this? James pen. Brand, aluminum pen. EDC pin. Okay, they got a few varieties. That's the Brian Ty Customs. Okay, now we're going to coming soon. All right, hold on. I just want to say the Brian Ty, Titac Tanto 2. Titac 2 Tanto? Titac 2 Tanto. Get it. Your Titac yeah. 2 Tanto is $32. You got the range of $32 up to $1,100. I would take on the, the one on the right. That yeah. one's kind of sweet. Though. But if these are manual button locks, they're probably pretty fidgety. They would be awesome. All right, so you want to go to coming soon? Yes, I want to show you a few right. things that I want. All right, let's go. Because, you know, my birthday's coming up. Yeah, right. <laughs> my birthday passed a couple of months ago. Okay. Okay, Kershaw Launch 9. Yes. 1.8. It's a working finish, too. Interesting. We got to look at this. With a purple logo. Interesting. It's a cute little auto. The button recessed. Um, I don't know if we mentioned that in the launch eight, but they're, uh, they do a really good job with their buttons. You're never going to accidentally deploy them. Or it's it's very difficult to accidentally deploy a launch series knife. It's legal. It's what? It would Ka be legal. Ka legal. yeah. Because it's 1.8 inches. Just want to point this out. USA made. Yes. And they are doing CPM 154, so the powdered version. So, not Due bad. Due to popular demand, they had to make a California legal one. No price here, but I'm guessing uh, right around 100 Yeah. Maybe less. Okay, what do we got? There we go. There's another one of these that were already available, weren't they? Yeah, it must just be a different version of it. Okay, so go down. Go hold on, hold on. Hold on. The parade has been out for a while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so what's with this one? Maybe it's just a, a second batch of them. Maybe that's what it is. Sometimes uh, with Blade HQ, we'll notice that a knife that's been in stock previously, yeah, yeah, they'll put it on uh, coming soon um, because the because of a sold Maybe out. Maybe it's status. a different blade still or something. So here's some new new spider goes. Insistent and emphasis. Okay, so yeah. these are going to be the the Budgets. Chinese. Yeah, let's take a look at one. So the emphasis, the emphasis on blade steel, obviously. Mm -hmm. Frankie's favorite. Yeah. So these are Chinese produced, all right, like the uh, like the resilience, like the tenacious. Yeah. Okay. Decent entry level spider co. Yeah, it gets you into a spider co. It's gonna function like any middle flicking uh, full flat grind spider co. It's just gonna have a softer steel. Well, it's gonna get you into the family and then work your way up to other ones. There you go. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Frankie. I know. Look at this. Hey. Okay. I've the already void. seen this stuff. We've got ours on pre-order. <laughs> we just sent the the um, mm -hmm. the prototypes to them. Yes, literally yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Blade HQ is going to be getting these probably tomorrow. Well, and maybe it will be the picture that they take of them too. So they're going to get one this right variety there. here. Yeah. And, and let's see, what was the other right here? Yeah. So they're going to get this one and this one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Blade HQ. We just sent him the prototypes. From our dirty little hands. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hands today. I don't know about you. Anyway, yeah. I did a million times. The Void. Okay, mm -hmm. so they are doing pre-orders on that. Nice. I don't know what's going on with the pre-orders then. Because officially on his page, it was open for less than a few hours. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. Let's scroll down. There's some Void. other stuff I want to. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> now, look at this. The Elementum. Yeah. We've got one. We've got this exact knife in the knife case in the other room right now. Yeah, I know. We're and special. it's not available. Look. Uh -huh. Oh, I want the wood one. Rosewood. Frankie wants the wood. I like it. It's Let's take pretty. a look at it, though. Okay, so again, I think these were available previously. I think so. They've just got a new, batch, a new batch they're waiting on. Mm -hmm. um, don't call it a gent. It says due to the overwhelming demand, it sold out. So the good news is that we'll be getting more. You know what I think happens here? No, I'm not going to say it. Well, I'm going to see how good it's going to sell. And they they more. crank out a bunch of, <laughs> yeah, this is Wii knives here. They crank out a bunch of knives and then they see which ones sell the most and then they mm -hmm. go ahead and make those. And then make more of them. I'm going to say that's what's happening here. But that being said, the knife is awesome. It's an awesome knife. Yeah, we have one right now. Yeah. It's the gray one right here. It's mm -hmm. sweet. It is. Um, for the price, are these are they all sixty three seventy five? Let me uh, see. Go to like just a basic G10 one. Well, just oh, go 50. to ours, right here. It's $50, Look, too. $50 yeah. and 15 cents. You guys are going to want one of these. Mm -hmm. You guys in the hundred and less budget of knives, which includes us, yes. are going to want one of these. Get one. Yes, yes. Everything about it is good. Police lightweight. Yes. Okay, so I would have loved this uh, four or five years ago. Yeah, back when you had I'm just, your big knife. Yeah, knife. I used to go for f not less than four inch blades. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was just that kind of dude. You were? But yeah, the police, I went through a phase where I carried the police, um, all the time. Yeah, probably at least two or three months straight. Like that was the only knife I carried. All right. What else we got, Frankie? Um, we have buck knives. That's your favorite. It BRS. Is. Actually, hopefully they'll show it. Um, we're not into the battle songs so much. I mean, I can appreciate them, but mm -hmm. BRS, they got some stuff coming out. Okay, this has already been released, hasn't it? Yes, they must be coming out with something different about it. The Alpha Beast, that's a popular... Um, okay, what? Okay, the Rhino. This one is a magnet-operated knife, I swear. Oh, yeah, I remember now. It is. Did we not handle one of these? Yeah, we did. Take a look. Yeah, it's sweet. Something completely Titanium handle different. slabs, independently locked together, powerful magnets. Yeah. Yes, okay. We need to get one. We will need to get one of these. It's something different, too. Something fun and different. No specs on it. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. No <laughs> specs on that. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. What else? Where are we at? Okay, so... Where are we at? Oh, we were up higher. There's just oh, not even pictures. Okay. The Vindicator. Yeah. They're getting some UTX-70s, it looks like. Always. Yeah. Okay, A tan. that one says tan. Yeah, hopefully some colors. Yeah. Okay. There's no pictures, Frankie. I know, I know. Okay, go to the next page. All right, let's just make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, more coming soon. Coming soon, coming soon. Lion Steel. Okay, I really want this T-shirt. Obviously. Yes, and then look at the other new T-shirts too. Wait, hold on. Are we just going to ignore the Benchmade? Well, we could. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see this real quick. Because it's this is an OTF, but it's a it's a oh, top button, yeah. top button OTF. It is a dagger. All right. Mm -hmm. It's the autocrat. This is a new model. Yeah, it is. Not unlike the infidel, unlike the why can't I think of it, Frankie? The other model, they've got another version with the uh, with ultra the top tech. button. <laughs> no, it's not. But, well, it's their version of the ultra tech. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the autocrat. Okay, okay, where are we at? We're at the clothes. T-shirts. Yes, look at how awesome the clothes are. I like the mountain one. I like this little camper thing. Bread truck. It's a bread truck. It's like a hippie bus shirt. It's really cute. And then the sweatshirt. I want the sweatshirt. Frankie, really a lot. Frankie will wear all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, completely. Look at the back, too. It has the Spidey logo on the back. Wouldn't you love to just see somebody wearing this? Yes, and I like, would like to see if you're at like. Wearing it. If you're at like the DMV or something and you're next to somebody and you're like, dude, knives? And you just totally make a new friend. And they get out a Benchmade. 
<laughs> and they get out a bench made. <laughs> well, instead of his motor code, it'd be funny. The auto crap. Okay, so these are all of the brand new ones too. So this is the new siren. We really need to get that too. It's a backlog, so I'm not immediately into it. But no, but it would be kind of cool. Check this out, LC two hundred N. So they're going for the nitrogen infused, corrosion resistant, highly well, basically corrosion proof for yeah. all intents and purposes. Uh -huh. Not a lot of pictures. Oh, it's made by a kayak fisherman. Lance Clinton. Ah, makes sense then. It completely makes sense. Okay, White well, I, I mean, obviously we want to check this out. Yeah, that's cool. Well, Do we have a weight on it? 3.6, that's pretty light. And Siren would make a good name for a fisherman. What are you getting at there? Because siren? the Siren, it's the Siren songs of the story where they would, in the Odyssey. Okay. Okay, whatever. Pair of three lightweight. Hundred and four dollars. Um, black. I didn't know they went black. I didn't know they went for this low. So murdered out shawl. Don't we have that one? We have no, this one. we don't have ours a black lace. Ours is yeah. satin. Ours is satin. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Go back up. No. Uh, hold on. Okay. What? Well, I wanted you to see some more of the new spider cups. So these are the sprint. The shaman sprint, sprint run. run. Yep. Yep. And then the sprint run stretch two. I don't know why we've never had a stretch. <sighs> we've never gotten the stretch, and it's an awesome knife. Yeah, that but it's backlock. Right. See, I'm out of my back backlock phase though. Yeah, you are. And then there's more lightweights there too. Tenacious lightweight, interesting. And those are only forty two dollars. So they've got to be Chinese, right? Yeah. But that's crazy. How light are they? Three point eight ounces. Okay. Hmm. Well, interesting. Not super light, but then compared to the other tenacious, maybe it is. And it's like half the weight. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully you're wrong about that. Oh, I don't think I am. <laughs> no pictures though. Uh, oh, th there's the other one that I Laconico want. Laconico Kaiser Gemini. Uh -huh. Sweet. Okay, and again. The shred carbon fiber. We're calling it shred. All right. Oh, did you see what was next to it? We need to go Hold back on. to it. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. This is going to be popular, or at okay. least at least with us it is. Yeah. The Gemini is a great knife, too. Yeah, that's kind of a, um, I'm going to say, bread and butter design from Ray Laconico. Okay, go to the knife that was next to it. Scroll back up. Hold no. on. This? We're going to no. have to check this okay, out. Okay, we will. BRS. Ooh, the Overwatch. We're going to have to check this out. I know. Just it's a ahead. little bit Pirates of the Caribbean, but it does look cool. Yes, it is. Frankie, what are we looking at? Right there. Gold class crooked. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, she's. I thought she was being serious about something, but Frankie, it's CPM twenty CV. Oh, sweet. That's the same as two hundred four P. Right. And M three ninety. Yeah. Okay, really though. Right. Fifteen hundred dollars. It looks good. It does, but it's not fifteen hundred dollars. You know what this reminds me of right here? <laughs> a blue wiener. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a glow in the dark condom. <laughs> <laughs> With a black light. <laughs> <laughs> I might have really to, glowing. I might have to edit that out. No. Okay. Uh, if you made it's it worth fifteen hundred dollars. If you if you made it this far in the video, am I right or am I right? No. Um fifteen hundred dollar gold class crooked river. Mm -hmm. I do like the crooked river. We sold ours and it the was... mini. Didn't we own a mini too? Yeah, we did. They're nice. I didn't like it. They're nice. I, they're and a great knife. Okay. I guess they're just making of... you know what for the hardcore collectors though? That's yeah, you got to get it for hardcore collectors. I like the Crooked River. I do. I do. What's so special about this, though? Scroll well, down. it's, like I say, it's 20 CV. You can okay. only get that on knives. It's carbon fiber. At least $200. And damage steel. Okay, the bolster material is damage steel. Yeah. It's six ounces. It's got the axis lock. I uh -huh, mean, that's you true. can only get that in the Ganzos and up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, Frankie. read more. Cracked ice finish. Maybe that's it. Where's the cracked ice? Is it in the spa backspace or where is it? Uh, we'll scroll down. It was just describing it. Um, Blue sapphire PVD coated hardware and pivot ring. And handle featured hand polish and jeweled liners with a cracked ice finish and a blue anno. Okay. Titanium pocket clip. Well, we're not able to see that in in the pictures here. You can just kind of see it right there uh -huh. on those liners, the cracked ice finish. And there's I don't know. 500 of them. Would I like to own this? Yes, I would. Mm-hmm. Would we? Yeah. All right. Interesting. 
the gold class. There's a knife for everyone out there. Yeah, I'd like to check this out. Yes. Um, I thought this was a smaller blade. Three point six. That's gonna be. This is gonna come in a little larger. We bar, maybe there was a smaller version of it. What does this remind me of? Um, the Elijah Isham Theta. This, or possibly the um, the Isham Isham. Sorry. Um, the one that we were just that. No, the Civivi, the little Civivi oh, McKenna. Yeah. The blade like kind of looks like the McKenna. It. Yeah. The CEO. I like the we green. Yet, green version of it we've handled this at the shows a couple times great knife we for some reason have not gotten one i'll take one in the green you yeah. could do that looks good yeah. all right one more page and we'll call it good okay what almar's. we got here almar's doing we need more pictures guys yeah we definitely need some pictures okay mm. all right well here's what i'm gonna do then we can't end on that note no okay let's go, go i'll go back to uh what is it page five okay let's just go to page five see where do we're at it. Ooh, zombies. Oh, some Medfords. Okay, Strider Protec. <laughs> yeah, some crazy colors. I kind of like this. I don't you care what you say. Would. I know. I don't care what you say. Well, I'm going to say you would. There's the Blackout Bug Out. These mm -hmm. are, once they sell out, they are completely sold out. Mm -hmm. Until they combo. make more of them. Yeah, yeah just don't. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> just, I was going to say, just don't leave yours on a log out in the woods. Yes. I'll have to go back and find it. Okay. I love these with the blue and the red blade. I like Which that. color would you get? Um, I'd get the red. Yeah, I knew yeah. you would. Yeah. Okay, so Praetorians, pick your style, pick your style. Ooh, let's each pick one. Pick your price, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say, um, I'm probably right here. Yeah. We have this almost exact Hunden. Mm, ours is bronze. All right, I'm going to go one more page. Okay, one more page. One more page, that's it. It's a bunch of holsters for what? <laughs> Stupid. MP. Okay, we have to choose a knife off of this page. <laughs> you have to choose a knife off this page. <laughs> this is no, we can't play that. We have to go one more page. Okay, then. one more page. One more page. Okay, one more page. Okay. Have to choose one off of here. Can it be an you, axe? You can have an axe if you want to. Okay, in all seriousness, oh, I want I do both wanna, of these. I want those shulas. Shaula? I think it's shaula or sha I like shaula. That red shaula. 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 I want this or this. Yeah. These look good. 3.3 inch. Let's take a look at one. Okay. I like that. D2 steel, so you know it's not going to corrode. Mm -mm. Unless it has black stone wash, it makes it a little bit better. Kind of liking this. Um, if it's like some of the newer. Steel wheels, and they put them on bearings. Bearings. I read it down below. They put it in the? Ball bearing pivot. Nice. All right. Sweet. Let's get some of those. Definitely want one of these, especially at that price. Yeah, that's great. Is steel wheel watching? Okay, get go, us one of these. Go up one. Go up a little bit. There was a couple of other notes. The apostate as well. Thumb stud knife. They look like uh, substantial. I'm, I'm going to click on it. Substantial enough thumb stud on here. Yeah, he looks chunky. So, yeah, this looks good. This looks like an easy to deploy thumb stud knife. It looks like Wait, it'd be it's a really flipper heavy. also. Oh, it's a flipper 4. also. 4.81. It's not as heavy as it, I thought it would look. Okay. All right, we gotta call this good. I don't know how long this video oh is. Oh my but, gosh. Oh, this one's more expensive. Oh, though. it was. Yeah. One seventy. All right. Okay, wait. Go back up to. You have to choose a hatchet. Um, Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> the six hundred dollar. I'm gonna one. go for the six hundred dollar one. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that one too. The WK2 Combat Axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty sweet looking, actually. Yeah. All right, let's call it good. Okay. We'll go back to the home page here. Off the home page. What do you want to see first? These do look cool. Yeah. But uh, maybe that mixtape just for the fun of it. Mm. But well. I'll take a wood one. Frankie takes the wood. Wood we probably, nori. We probably ought to get one of these. We probably ought to get one of these as well. Yes, yeah. please. All right. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for giving us your thumbs, thumbs up. up. Make sure you sub subscribe as well. That's, uh, you know, that's mandatory at this point. Do you want a three-inch one? Frankie, why? What? Since, huh? since that's what I Let's want. Let's clarify. I want a three-inch. Frankie wants the three-inch Troodon. Yes. Troodon. Yes, yes. So does LA. Right. Um, if you're going to go shopping on Blade HQ, which you probably are after seeing this video, make sure to use our link. And request a Frankie bird drawing. Request one of Frankie's drawings. They'll get it to you. We just sent some more. <laughs>
we literally just sent some more yes. with those with those prototypes. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys, and uh, let us know what you got.